We are on the way to Norwell Motorplex, which is a test, uh, which is a track, learning track, uh, driving skills learning track near the Gold Coast, or the, on the northern end of the Gold Coast. And it's an event uh, organized by Dave Busby. Thank you, Dave. Uh, it's for testing the uh, skills of the drivers and capabilities of Tesla cars. It's the first event. Uh, it's limited to 10 people, uh, sorry, 10 cars. Uh, unlimited amount of people in those 10 cars. We will not need helmets or anything. So it's uh, there will be skid pan available. So wet patch when we can test uh, stability of the cars in the rain, in the wet. We'll have some hot laps. So testing the speed, acceleration, braking of these cars. And for me, it's the very first time. Uh, so it's kind of exciting. Uh, I guess it's gonna be a day of uh, thrill and uh, big Tesla greens that we will remember for a long time. By looking at it the corner first mm -hmm. so um, don't drive to the corner and then oh well, there's the corner you know twist your head and say oh there's the corner I'm about to approach prepare for, yeah, it. Prepare yeah. for it your thumbs and your hands live on the grooves here at quarter to three mm -hmm. okay always stop here at these two cones just in case, just in case someone's coming around there mm -hmm. and then head out 
and once you get to the track you won't have to shuffle the steering wheel or anything you'll just leave your hands exactly where they are and just keep rotating it in so you sit probably a little bit closer than you would on the road so you can get locked to lock nice and easy <laughs> we've got cones out on the track you can see all the dirty stuff if yeah. you go out there you're not on the racing line you look down the road and you see the red marker. See the red witch's hat? This one here, yeah. That's where you're gonna start braking. Whilst you're braking, you physically wanna twist your head and just tell yourself, I'm going over there. Mm -hmm. Now, oh, you've got a yellow cone, that's when you start to turn. You can actually see all the marks. Then you get to the point where you hug and hold. You hold your speed, I'm doing 35, 35, 35, and I'm hugging the paint all the way to the yellow apex. Mm -hmm. Now, I can shoot the bullet out. So you get right around the bend before you go. You look down the road, just so you remind yourself where you're going to end up. There's the yellow cone. Come across, you see the yellow cone for clipping. You look down the road, you see the red. That's for braking. So, on the brakes. Now, you look at the bend and it's super tight. So you've gone from the fastest part of the track to the equal slowest corner. So. If you have to keep braking, just keep braking the whole corner. Hug, 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 and shoot the bullet out. Straight away, there's your brakes, and you've got another tight bend. And you can see the yellow cone. So, hug, 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 and shoot the bullet. On the brakes. The faster you go, the more brake pressure you use. The faster you go, the further you carry the brake around the bend. Brakes. In nice and tight and out wide. Have a look around the bend. So clip this marker straight across to this one. Now you don't want to like accelerate and then come off and then accelerate yeah. and come off. It's just about holding the throttle percentage that's just nice and smooth. Brakes looking at your bend. Now, if I go on the accelerator too fast, if I go now, where am I pointing? Straight to that oh, sign. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So it's you've so got to finish the bend yeah. before you get going. Yes. Having a look down the road. With the steering, and you're just rotating the steering wheel. You don't need to shake the wheel like this to get around the circuit. It's all about being nice and smooth. If you don't look at the bend and you look at the, the road and you keep looking at the road, you keep looking at the road, where are you gonna drive? Oh yeah, to the cones. Down the shortcut road. So you really gotta look at the where the road, you know, where the corner ends up. And once again, even at slow corners like this, if you accelerate too early, mm -hmm. car goes forward. Mm -hmm. Shooting a bullet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All about staying nice and smooth. The more you use your eyes and the further you look down the road, the better you'll be at, at getting the perfect line. I want my wife to try this as well. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> this is the lane where you come in and out of. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just indicate probably to make it easier. Mm -hmm. So people know you're coming off. You probably felt that this is the least powerful one of all. Oh, but it, because yes, the, the first five spoiled you guys. Uh, the first five were their performance. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is still a cool car. Yeah. Plenty fast. Yeah, plenty fast, exactly. And sorry, what's your name? Robbo. Robbo. Yeah. Thanks, Robbo. Up, it's the traction control holding back. <laughs> you can do this for a living, Steve. Oh, uh, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah not a problem. I have no idea how I appreciate this. <laughs>
Did you, you mean superior done? vehicle? Superior, yeah, yeah, superior. Superior. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. So um, we're all done and dusted. As far as proceedings go, we're all done. So I appreciate you coming out. We'll get a photo, we'll make sure we've got the radios back, and then we'll um, hopefully see you guys, ladies, another time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. What a day it has been, what a day at Norwell Motorplex. We just got back to Brisbane and charging downstairs at the superchargers because there was one Tesla upstairs and some dodgy Audi with the irresponsible driver. Uh, so it's been absolutely wonderful experience at Norwell. Uh, thank you David who are for organizing this and to all the instructors there. I'm sure uh, they are completely changing their opinion on uh, Tesla cars and uh, I am convinced that it's just the beginning of their raving about Tesla cars and uh, sharing and spreading the word about these incredible vehicles. They perform really well on track as well and uh, I'd like to thank uh, Steve, uh, Stephen Bisha for taking me for a ride around the uh, track for uh, two or three actually, three hot laps in your P100D, that was incredible. I, yeah, it's hard to find words for this. You are an amazing driver and uh, it, was, it was a blast, so thanks for that. I'm downstairs here at the, at the Fortitude Valley Supercharger, there's quite a few cars here. Uh, so, uh, good to see that they still have plenty of stock of vehicles, even though production hasn't been uh, happening for for a while uh, they are a good mix but not as many as uh, as they were when I was here last time so good to see S's X's and 3's and there is an interesting plate here as well I think I remember this uh, Tesla uh, it says I bike I bike I can't remember the name of the driver but uh, it's here now so what a one, wonderful experience uh, <laughs> uh, it was interesting for me and for Bernie uh, with our least powerful cars to be there but uh, nonetheless brilliant experience uh, and uh, if this is your very first time on this channel go ahead click here subscribe uh, so YouTube will notify you of uh, our upcoming videos and uh, I'll see you in the next one Thank <laughs> you.